Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to Black Gods of Yahweh Media. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Pazat Bain Matz. Baruch Hashem, Yahweh. How do we love you, Wafe? With all our minds, with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our might. Praise you, Wave, Yahweh. And praise you, Wave, Beit Noon, Sophie, you, Wave. In this particular video, we're going to talk about family unity economics. As long as I can remember growing up amongst a dead-minded people, we were encouraged to do one of the worst things possible, and that is to separate ourselves from our children, and the children separate themselves from the parents. It is the most mindless illogical thing to do. Whether you're sending your children to the workforce, off to college, or you own your own business, staying together under one roof to accomplish one financial goal or multiple financial goals is much smarter and productive than it is by separating. Nine times out of 10, you are going to find yourself assisting your children in their new home or their new apartment when in fact they could be living un under your same roof and you working together to accomplish a goal, building together. If your children are 18 years old and they can't wait to get away from you, that means that you are not teaching them in the knowledge of Yahweh, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Old Testament. Therefore, they don't like you. If your children can't wait to get out of the home so they can run the streets and smoke weed and drink alcohol, that is also your fault because you are not teaching them the laws of God, Yahweh. Your son is your brother. Your daughter is your sister. And you should be working together. Whether that's Two people, three people, four people, five people bringing their incomes together to achieve a financial goal to empower themselves. Whether the goal is to buy a home, land, a business, or just put food on the table to secure transportation or to live better. Either way, thy hidden ones, the children of Yahweh, must come up with a solution to stop this self-sabotage and also sabotage from other nations. Look at the turkey leg hut in Houston, Texas. Every single day there's a lawsuit. Somebody is trying to come after them for money and to destroy that business. Look at the black farmers in Colorado. Their animals being shot at, being poisoned, them being shot at, them being harassed and attacked. We're going to have to work together as a family to empower ourselves economically. There will be no unity amongst the tribe without unity amongst the family. I'm going to say that again like Umar Johnson. There will be no unity amongst the tribe without unity amongst the family. We must start working together. My son, when someone asks him, what is he going to be? He's not going to say a marine biologist. He's not going to say an astronaut. He's going to work with his father. It doesn't matter if you're in corporate America or you own your own business. Your children should be side by side working with you as you are. They should be inspiring to be like you, not some unrealistic goal, not some far-fetched outlandish dream that we once had when we was growing up and then reality slaps us in the face. Your children should be side by side with you. Kicking your child out of the house when they turn 18, this is something that was established by us being a separated people. Those who were against us, who 
meant to sabotage as a family, they understood in the 80s and the 90s to tell the daughters of Zion, if you have a man or a father in the home, you cannot receive government assistance. This is what started the movement of independent women, a strong woman, I don't need no man. It is the same concept that is designed to split apart the family. Family unity economics is the only way that we're going to get ahead of the game in this world. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high, and thou shall come down very low. That's you. The stranger is those that did not come off the slave ships 500 years ago. Everyone who has immigrated here has gotten high above you because they have used family unity economics and then they have went on to support their community. Stop kicking your children out of the home. Build a relationship with them. Work with them economically to achieve a goal. Two heads are better than one. Three heads are better than one. Four heads are better than one. The same goes for economics, whether that's business whether that's corporate America, whether that's sending your child to school and receiving grants. That money should be put back for a percentage for them to save for themselves, as well as put in a household as children, and the parents should be doing the same thing. Family unity economics. This is how the children of Yahweh, thy hidden ones, are going to achieve financial empowerment. This is Black Gods of Yahweh Media. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Ben Yahweh. Selah.